Okay, here's a lateral view of our larynx with our thyroid cartilage here in white <clears throat> and the hyoid bone at the top in white, our cricoid cartilage along the bottom here. I'm going to turn it um, actually first to an anterior view. Again, we can see more of the thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, and the hyoid bone. And if I turn it around to the back, we can see our arytenoid cartilages and again the cricoid cartilage in the back and our vocal folds extending from the thyroid cartilage at the back side at the notch and reaching toward the arytenoid cartilages here. But on this particular video we're more focusing on the joints that are important to allow vocal fold movement. The first joint we're going to talk about is the cricothyroid joint which is here between the cricoid and the thyroid where they're connected and that joint allows the thyroid cartilage to tilt anteriorly and when that happens it pulls the vocal folds in an anterior movement going this way and stretching the vocal folds so that they become longer and thinner and we'll talk a little bit more about what muscles cause that to happen later and the other joint that's important for us in this video is the cricoarytenoid joint which is where the arytenoids are resting on top of the cricoid and that joint is a very neat joint because it allows quite a bit of different movement it allows gliding it allows twisting and it allows um, tilting and so we get a variety of movements that therefore um, allow the, the vocal folds to be moved in a variety of ways and again we'll talk about more of the specific muscles that cause that but right now what we're looking at is that if our vocal folds were at rest for just restful breathing and not phonation they would be separated so that the air is passing freely through the lungs and the trachea and out through the mouth passing through the through the larynx and the vocal folds but when we want to have phonation the vocal folds are going to close and approximate so that as the air is pushed through they um, vibrate <clears throat> and the motion that causes those to close and open looks kind of like the hinge on a door and um, that's because as these close the the, the um, vocal processes which is this part of the arytenoid cartilage here is not only going to move together but they're also going to twist in and down as such and then when they open again they're going to pull out and up away as they're separating it's hard to do this with one hand so we've got that hinge type of joint that's twisting and turning in and then turning up and out as it goes away. And we'll talk about these muscles here in another video that, that allow those things to happen.